What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to the iTip Report. My name is Ava Ani. I hope all is well with you. Shout out to all my subscribers. Welcome, my new subscribers. I appreciate you all. I know it's been a minute, but let me tell you something. Um, times are just rough and emotional, and you have a lot of things going on. Um, today, I want to talk a little bit about ZMX. Um, maybe for some of you guys who may not know, I am a huge admirer of DMX. I never got the opportunity to meet him, but right now, um, health-wise, he's not doing well. Um, they say he is in a coma. I don't, it's so many different, um, conflicting stories. I don't even know what is true and, and, and like, what are the real facts. But I really hope and pray that he gets well. I ask you that if you watch my videos or if you watch this video, uh, this period, to really pray for DMX um, and wish him well because he is a phenomenal artist. He is legendary. He is a legend. He is a true MC. He, there's no one like DMX, no one. No comparison, nothing. DMX is in his own lane. And the music he has created um, in the <laughs> my earliest stages of life, I think my 20s, was phenomenal. And if you play the, any of those music uh, tunes now, um, it's just like it came out yesterday. But, um, you know, I just, I'm just like sad at the whole situation. I don't want nothing to happen to DMX. He is one of those type of artists that has um, a gift, like it's a special type of gift. Um, and, and he has some God given talents, period. But he is just one of a kind and I want him to um, live out his life here um, longer than what is expected. So I ask you guys to um, definitely uh, keep DMX in your prayers. Now, what I will tell you while I'm doing this video, um, I'm watching uh, Star. Uh, shout outs to Star. I do like Star. I don't agree with all his, his commentary, but for the most part, I do like him. He has a co um, host sometime. Her name is Ronnie. And let me tell you something um, Ronnie was very incompassionate, incompassionate, excuse me, very disrespectful. You know, she called um, DMX a crackhead. Okay, we know the situation. DMX has never denied that he has um, uh, addiction to drugs as well as crack. He's never denied. He's never hide it. He's been, I would say, very transparent than most artists. I think that's why so many people love him. So on the current live right now, she's just going in like he is not a human person listen we all are flawed we all make mistakes we all not perfect we all have some type of addiction it might not be crack but for it to just really go hard and, and, and okay you're gonna speak the facts this is nothing that we don't know of because dmx has came out of his own mouth and said what he is in his experiences and i'm just like wow where is the compassion where is the love at least you don't want to be in a situation where you're down or god forbid something happened to you and your loved ones are like all sad and somebody come around and say well she was this and she, or he was that or he was a crackhead no that's the problem with this world today. There's no compassion and people have no feelings or emotions. So she really um, just disappointed me with her commentary today, just going on him like, like it was just like all his fault. Like, listen, we not perfect. You know, so I, I don't know. And I, I think that you have to really be careful with what you say. So that really bothered me. And people are going in over there on the Star re Report. Like I said, I do like Star. I still like Star, you know. And he said he has a large respect for DMX. But the fact that he lets the co-host, um, which is Ronnie, talk like that. And I know, don't get me wrong, people can have their opinion. Okay. But in this time when he is in the hospital and people are like emotionally upset and sad, you're going to just be like, oh, well, he was a crackhead, but he's always a crackhead. Come on. Like, 
I'm just telling you guys, you have to really pay attention to who you uh, watching, uh, you know, getting your commentary from because listen, um, you could be here today and gone tomorrow. And I don't think you would want anybody, even if you have an addiction or whatever the case is, you don't want nobody going in on you and while you're down. You know, at this point in our life, um, with all the things that are going on, you definitely need to show some compassion. You definitely need to show some compassion because you never know it might come your way. Your loved one, something might happen to your loved one. And I guarantee you, you wouldn't want nobody talking reckless. Even if it's true, you wouldn't want anybody being vindictive because they have a opinion. Sometimes it's better for you not to say nothing at all in certain times, you know? If you don't have nothing nice to say, my mother always say, don't say nothing at all. So I just I just thought that Ronnie was wrong with that. <sighs> that is my thoughts today. But um, my favorite song from DMX is Slippin'. I love that song. Oh, it, it's so many songs from DMX that I love. But Slippin', like all his songs are emotional. And it had some substance. It had a mixture, you know, um, a prayer. Like he is a phenomenal prayer. <laughs> It was just uh, genuine. He's a genuine artist. His music is genuine and it's something that it can't be replaced. But like I said, um, kicking people when they down, not cool. So if anything, guys, did you take from this video, please um, be mindful of what you say when people are, are not doing so well financially, mentally, have addictions. Just be mindful of what you're saying because guess what? That karma is real. I believe in karma. It will come back on you tenfold. Anyway, guys, like this video, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Peace, and this is Abaani.